Hello again, uh, this is part two of my video that's um, uh, going to be advertising my Nissan L Grand that, that I'm selling. Uh, this is it after I've packed uh, everything away, basically um, showing where all the stuff goes. Many of you will be familiar with these King's awnings, so there's nothing special about that. Um, I've just added a couple of extra supports here to make it a bit more um, so it doesn't move around as much and I'll show you how the luggage works up on top shortly. Uh, there's a remote control for the door because that's electric. Uh, things you didn't see last night was where I store the port -a that's just attached to the back of the seat and it just sort of goes backwards and forwards. There's a table here that slides forwards or back um, and this is the what was the bed is now the couch um, and the upholstered material here um, there's uh, more storage in there and a mirror and there's places to hang up the clothes and so forth the thing at the top is the control for the um, 240 volt inverter and then that's your lighting control system there. The water just simply works like that. Once again that's a pull out shower that you would if you're having a shower you'd have that door there open and you can take that nozzle through into the shower area. Uh, the device there is telling you how much power is being consumed at the moment I've turned the fridge freezer on and it's drawing 43 watts. It also tells you how many hours uh, you're likely to get if you continue with that current use of power. It's saying about 40. But that changes. Water bottle. The monitor. Once again you can turn it all the power up the systems from the back. That will allow that to work and that to work off your phone. Uh, I forgot to mention yesterday there's cruise control up the top. Just hang on a second, I'll put this table away so I can. The table just stores in here for when you're not using it. And if we go up the top, we can see just a strap, a couple of tie down straps go over the top. There's the two, chair, two chairs, and there's a table, and there's a bag. Uh, that's a weatherproof bag, so you can put all your um, tarps and uh, gas stove and gas bottles and whatnot. Moving to the back, there's a caravan outlet or inlet. So mm. if you happen to be the powered site, you can just plug in. That's the bedding that just basically is sitting on the back seat. If you were to stow that away, um, like you weren't sleeping, you could um, use that as a back seat to stare at the back. Underneath the back here is all the electronics. There's um, switch boxes, uh, the DC to DC charger, solar charger, um, circuit breakers, and the inverter, and uh, battery charging station. So by uh, there's a battery charger included. If you're at a powered campsite, you would plug that in, and that will charge up your battery under there, plus also the car battery. Moving to the side, you've got the that's the ensuite. It's folded up. Once again, a couple of extra securing straps to hold it better in position. Back here you've got your water pump, 
Uh, down the bottom, you've got grey water tank and you've got your other tank for your water. This little box down here displays your drive, uh, whether you're in um, four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, or all-wheel drive. And that's simply activated by pushing your little buttons down there. Like if I, I'm not sure if it's come up, but if I push four-wheel drive, four-wheel little wheels light up and then lock the little button in the front comes on. Um, as you can see, it's got 74,962 Ks. That's the cruise control. Uh, it also features some vacuum manifold thing that's supposed to be better for fuel consumption and it's controlled by a it's not factory it's aftermarket uh, it's controlled by the stalk down there okay that's it if you've got any questions just um get back to me have a great day bye